We're two weeks away from the total solar eclipse, and as we prepare for four minutes of total darkness, we wanted to know where it leaves pets and animals. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire covers what the Cameron Park Zoo has planned and how the eclipse can affect animals. Adam M.G. Tembo is a 43-year-old elephant here at the Cameron Park Zoo. Elephants are pretty smart animals, so zoo staff members say they're going to be doing research here to see how she and other animals react to the solar eclipse. Are our animals going to show behaviors that are different on a typical day during an eclipse? Uh, are they going to think that nighttime is approaching right around the middle of the day? Are they going to uh, be caught off guard, surprised? Uh, will there be any stress or anxiety related to it? Cameron Park Zoo Director Brandon Wiley says he's interested to see how the elephants, tortoises, and birds react to the eclipse. Darkness during the day uh, tends to affect birds most, and what is commonly reported is just this silence. And you don't realize how much bird noise makes up your day until it's gone. The zoo will be open on April 8th, so visitors can watch the animals during the eclipse and record their findings. We're hoping that they'll share that with us so we can put all that behavior into a combined database uh, for further reference. Beyond animals at the zoo, the Humane Society of Central Texas wants pet owners to be proactive. We recommend to, to pet parents all over um, to kind of treat it as they would fireworks, of making sure that their pets are inside during the eclipse so that no one in their fear or panic may try to escape backyards and become loose and stray into the communities. For additional zoo events leading up to the eclipse, click on the story online at fox44news.com. In Waco, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 44 News.